Butcherette started when I was 17. Um, first, there was a girl drummer that didn't work out. She left the band, and then there was then the uh, the album was recorded, and the producer Omar Rodriguez Lopez told me that it would be great if you added a bass player, like a bass sound, which, because it, before it was just guitar and, and, and drums. And I was I was open to the idea, so I had a my friend was playing the bass for a little while, and, and the, my manager at the time was being the drummer, so they all hid their faces. And when we moved to LA, well, me, um, that's where I met Gabe and Jonathan, and uh, that's it, 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 you know that's how it, that's the, the brief mystery of it. I love music. I love music, but I'm 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 very uh, constricted, in in the sense where I've, I I I grew up listening to Sonny and Cher and and the Beatles, and I I would only tell myself that this is it. There's nothing else out there. But Jonathan, on the other hand, he he's the complete opposite. He's opened himself up to so many uh, different artists. So there's War Paint. They're great. They just played last night here. I uh, love that band. Um, there's a band called Agent Ribbons who's played in Portugal some. I love them, they're from Austin, Texas. Um, Ariel Pink is good. The Code Hangers are good. Um, Primus. She loves Primus. I love Primus. <laughs> I can dance like this. We love the Flaming Lips. We love, uh, you know, we love all the usual stuff that everyone loves. Good stuff coming up, Iggy and the Stooges. So we're really excited. We just played with Queens of the Stone Age. That's another dream of mine that came true because I grew up listening to them. That's Queens of the Stone Age was one of my bands. 